Hey, lads and ladies around the world, it's me, Forever Essen here, and we are back. We are back for another Genshin Impact session. And today, we're taking a little break out of the uh, whole Shinveil ordeal. Uh, even though we've finished uh, the world quest, the Jada 2, Fujin, and, uh, and Lin Ron, as you may have seen in the latest previous videos. Um, yeah. That was really interesting, and I still have to get some spirit cops regarding, um, well, restoration of Fujin's power, Max, and it all well, obviously the, well, last rewards they get for the uh, range aid ablation. But yeah, um, since I'm streaming every Saturday, or oh, Sunday rather, um, I have to make sure that I finish this specific event that we're going to tackle today, which is uh, the Alchemical Ascension event, quest event, event quest, I oh, don't know. And um, yeah, apparently uh, it portrays uh, Jean Lisa, so we're back in Mondstadt, obviously. Um, we'll have to check it out. Let me see. About me. Person in charge, Lisa. Seems to have a good idea and has invited you and Paimon to assist her. Alright. Um, are made for transferring well, one's in charge of Alchemy and Monster. And those that come across Lior tend to well, stay a while. Mostly. So it is where many are, things come to see. Um, Albedo, Ucros, Aes, although to miss quite um, bound by the fact that uh, <laughs> he uh, has, um, has plans with. Uh, Inger in Leeway Harbor, so there's that as well. But yeah, um, we're going to start this event quest today, and if we have time, we're going also to do the Fies Phase Ocean in the Samaru, and I think we will also do um, the next hangout if we have the time. But yeah. Uh, if you like the content on the side of YouTube, guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, give a like on the video and activate the notification bell so you never miss a video from me in the future. Also, um, go over this on the socials that are in the description so that uh, you may be able to talk to me. Uh, well, recommend either <laughs> on the socials or uh, in the comment section. Uh, some things that you want me to react to or play. So, and also, another note, um, well, it would be uh, incredible if you could come over at twitch.tv forward slash forever resin, where I do all of my live, uncut, and raw uh, reactions and uh, playthroughs to act on Tri Star Rail. Most of the Hoyaverse uh, IP. Yeah. And yeah, come over and uh, do a follow here. But yeah, um, tell me about what you think in the comment section down below. And without further ado, I think I delayed this <laughs> further than I should have. But yeah, let's give it a go, guys. Let's see what this event has in store for us. Alright, go. Oh, hey, Poros. Hey, Atos. Enter the Knights of Favonius headquarters. Here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> right below her. That works. Hey, Lisa. Oh, it's you, cutie. To what do I owe the honor of your visit? Are you here to peruse the library? Or perhaps you're here to visit a certain someone? <laughs> I mean, we're here to see you, of course. What the... What's this question? <laughs> as considerate as ever, I see. Alas, yeah. what rotten luck. You just so happen to have caught me in the middle of some important work. I'll have to treat you to afternoon tea some other time. Oh. Wait, you're 
actually busy with work? That's not a sight you see every day. <laughs> yeah. You're right. I know. The last time I was this consumed with research must have been way back at the academia. I haven't done this much thinking for a long time. It's rather exhausting. Are you, um, are you writing a, thes a thesis or are you working on a research project? <laughs> if you're that interested, why don't you join in on the fun? What do you say? Want to help me relive my days as a scholar? <laughs> Lisa. Yeah. People, you know. Is that a no then? It will be quite <laughs> the rare opportunity to work together, and you would of course be generously rewarded. But if you don't want to. Hey, hey, let's let's hear the details first, right? As you probably know, the Knights of Avonius have long conducted research on alchemy. But yeah. most of that research has been carried out in a laboratory setting. The public's knowledge of alchemy is quite minimal. Which means See. that up to this point, most of our research and discoveries have remained quite distant from people's daily lives. We've put a lot of mora into the research, but have very little to show for our efforts. Noting this disconnect, Jean decided to start an initiative where we'd share the fruits of our labor with the people. For now, that means introducing them to several different kinds of alchemical potions. Oh, I see. Yeah, makes sense. As it happens, I already have some experience with this work. Even though I usually work at the library, I have lent my support in the past to the management of the Knight's Potion Supply. Potioneering was also one of my academic specializations back in the day. So Jean thought I was the best yeah, person I for the job. Yeah, I remember that. But, to create potions practical enough to support the daily needs of the people, a lot of adjustments had to be made to the ingredients we use, and the overall alchemical process also needed to be simplified. All in all, what started as a relatively simple research project soon evolved into something exceedingly complicated. So, are you asking us to help you with your research? Cause, uh, you're not exactly talking to two alchemy experts over yeah, here. Yeah, you're not. <laughs> no worries. I've already thought of the perfect job for you two. Alchemical practices yeah. are becoming Oofa. more and more advanced, but there's still a disconnect between our research and the general public. What we really need is to collect feedback from the people. Otherwise, we won't truly know if we're satisfying their needs. But if we want to conduct research mm -hmm. and collect feedback at the same time, we need to go about things in a more efficient way. So, I thought the best way to do that would be to open up a potion shop. That way, we could continue to handle the potion alchemy shop, side yeah. of things, mm -hmm. while also being able to interface with the public and understand their needs. Oh, it's like killing two pigeons with one stone! Smart idea, Lisa! Yeah, if we can paint like that, obviously. Well, of course. And who better to take on this job than one of the most accomplished among our ranks, the Traveler. <laughs> when I was at the Academia, students would often help out with each other's research projects. I'm sure my cuties wouldn't want to miss out on the opportunity to experience that sort of youthful enthusiasm for themselves. Yeah. No, but Paimon still thinks you're just looking for a way to pawn off your work. <laughs> well, um, let's just say that, um, yeah, let's, let's just say that I'm always down for a bit of a challenge. <laughs> I like your enthusiasm. When all our work is done, I will personally see to it that you're generously rewarded. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All of the initial preparations have been made, so let's head to the shop. We'll finish our discussion after we get there. All right. What's the shop? Go to the shop. Library rules. Yeah, I remember that. Uh, I want to talk to Saeed. 
know if I can. Not there anymore. Where did he go? The other side? No. Oh. I'm on Sumida. You're here. In a, in a while. Phew. That felt good. Or should I say, this is how the largest library in the, in the north should be. I think that I had the opportunity to finish the whole various melancholy series in one row. That was wonderful. It is Sumida. It might be best to keep your wisdom. Ah, ah, sorry. I was getting too excited there. Now, I'm worried that you might get hurt. That librarian has an aura around her. Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> huh? Really? I thought she was a rather typical, slightly lazy witch. Hmm, now that you mention it, these characters do tend to be the strongest. Right then, it's not to get on her bad side. Actually, you could write a story based on just such on just such a character, didn't I? Something like um, the Mage of the Great Library. Well, wait, wait, wait. How have your travels been going? Ah, it's been a while. Oh, it isn't the legendary mole. Our travels? Mm, you know, I used to go out to travel to collect reference material a lot. I went to Musojin Gorge to study how to write thunderstorms, did the serpent's head to learn how to describe a snake demon, and a drama to join the military to better understand the lives of the strangers. Man, being charm is a top job. Wasn't much. But this, on the other hand, is a real journey. One with no real objective in mind. Only now have I discovered that there are just so many interesting things worth writing about in this world. Like in Chino's travels. Yeah. Kama and I visited the recommended sites and stores uh, around these parts before camping out in the wild. Exchanging stories with unfamiliar travelers by the campfire. And when we woke up, we found our belongings all missing. Wait, so that turned out okay in the end? It did. Honestly, when we found out that the gang of thieves had 10 or more members, I thought we were, weren't getting our stuff back. But somehow, Tama was able to convince them to return our things. Even gave gave him these coins with raven insignias on them to go. <laughs> really, <laughs> because um, uh, uh, they don't get they don't give anyone them these coins. What I think is uh, he uh, did them to a pulp. <laughs> Shame. I thought that this would make for an interesting story, but Chama wouldn't tell me how it all went down. Yeah. Sure. Well, uh, pretty good. you're pretty good, Chama. I simply did as I should. You need not to worry, Lady Sumida. Chama is not someone to, uh, joke around. He can be really, uh, strong when he wants to. Uh, uh, you really are indispensable, Chama. With you by my side, I doubt we'd have any trouble. Even if our adventures took us to the edge of the world itself. Speaking of which, it really has changed a lot since the whole incident with Surumi Island. There are things you want to do now, and opinions and doubts you want to express. Well, if you do not find it suitable, Lady Sumida... No, no, I think it's great. Your views are all well worth considering. Well, uh... Perhaps, uh... Well, I'll leave the two of you alone, then. Perhaps we'll meet again in some other place. Indeed. Heal them all. It's meant at the end of all things, just like in Flowers for Princess Fischl. Yeah, official. Number one. Uh, see you, Limul. Take care of yourself. Take care, Sumida and Kama. Been nice seeing you. This place. <sighs> this is the shop. Hmm? Wow, looks like you've made a lot of preparations already. Did you do this all by yourself? <laughs> it was a group effort. A whole bunch of knights helped out. 
Jean secured the initial funds to open the shop. Albedo and Sucrose provided the ingredients and equipment needed to brew the potions. And the logistics company is handling the provision of all future supplies. Now with your help, it's like an additional weight has been lifted off my shoulders. The Knights have been busy spreading the word about our shop over the past few days. So, we should be ready to open once we've finished our final preparations. Okay, let's not keep everyone waiting then. Why don't you take these ingredients and try your hand at brewing a potion? Okay. See how that goes. <laughs> um... Potions, most potions. I'm brewing a potion. Alright. Um, your alchemical journey has begun. Use your ingredients and little inspiration to make some fresh new conditions. Alright. Uh, Alright. I'll, uh, I'll try it. Can I go inside? I can. Alright. Uh, conventional concoction. Do it. Do it. Um, place ingredients and cover more area to increase the tuning rate of this concoction. Tuning rate which is 100% or higher, you can control uh, the, po the potion and receive the finished product. Check efficacy icon description. Um, so, constitution, strength, dexterity. Wisdom, Charisma, and Balance. Press will drag uh, ingredients, place them inside the alchemy cauldron. So Strength, Balance, and Vitality. Think, right? Uh, constitution. Constitution, Strength, and Balance. Place it here. Oh, I see. Um, can I rotate this? Can. Here. Um. Here. Here and update this here. So um we are uh we are at a hundred and forty five percent tuning rate. I think we can do better. I think we can do better. Have to, to make sure that uh is all right. Still two chases missing. But anyways, I don't want to delay. What if? Here, about to take this here. Um, here, put that here, and another one. This is faded.
place. Complete. Starting. Confirm complete. Bare bones basic bottle. Um a very plain and unassuming bottle with a temporarily temporarily light shape that seems suitable for storing a large volume of liquid within. Heat packaging. Levels from lucky bonus. Levels from the quality of basic base ingredients. Uh, levels from having a 145% to eight. You will initially have one chance to control the potion each operation cycle. By using more ingredients when constructing the potion, you can gain more alchemy level experience and potion ingredient experience. And there's a chance to create an even stronger potion. A good use of your opportunities to construct the potion. Add to shop storage. Wait. Yeah, add to shop storage. Oh, looks like you finished your potion. Now, all we need to do is put it on display for sale. Try to sell your product. Potion stock. Looks like we're done with all the prep work. Why don't we take a short break over there while we wait for customers to arrive? Oh, but before that, I'm going to do some uh, contraction again. But the game won't want me to do that. To do that, so uh... and operation cycle. Financial report. Um, revenue for this cycle. Pay close attention to the financial reports and see which potions are selling better. That way we can figure out just which potions are the most in demand. Wait. Uh, revenue for, for this cycle of 575. Uh, total potion costs, my good. 475 normal sales revenue breakdown uh sales volume five potion picking up strength potion three all right this was the first cycle oh it seems like everything is going well you've already sold your first batch of potions not a bad start at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As for what potions you should brew next, we'll need to consult the news from the market. That means staying up to date on the latest news and trends to try and anticipate people's needs. It's an essential skill when it comes to business. Uh, that sounds kind of hard. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Don't worry. I already took it upon myself to compile all the latest news on the market for you. Oh, well, thanks. Um, market news. Cycles 2 to 4. Good Hunter is coming up with new dishes for adventurers who love battling. Okay, so battle potions, strength, or... Uh, the owner of a Mondstadt flower shop is looking to have their fresh flowers grow more lushly and extend the time they are in bloom. What do you think? Have any ideas on the kinds of potions you should sell next? Go ahead and try to cultivate some herbs then. Bioalchemical processing can infuse herbs with different effects and properties. Using mm -hmm. different herbs in the brewing process will, in turn, alter the effects of the potion. There's a whole bunch of combinations to try. Alright, cutie. Why don't you get started? 
Oh well, oh well. <laughs> um, where was it? Of course, now you to, to not read what the people are saying. Hey. Here, that would be too easy. Right. Where's the? Um, oh. Cultivate ingredients. Uh, different cultivation areas can be assigned the ingredients separ separately. After a certain number of operation cycles, your ingredients will mature and can be harvested. Once you complete this harvest, the cultivation area will automatically cultivate the previously selected ingredients. The cultivation progress of ingredients will not be saved in each of the ingredients assigned to the cultivation area. Okay. After your alchemy level increases, you can unlock more cultivatable ingredients. You'll also be able to go to the Knights of Avon's support staff to expand funds and expand the cultivation area, allowing you to cultivate more ingredients at the same time. Harvest all. all right. Now select the area with no ingredients cultivated. Yun chilies? Yun chilies. Change the ingredients in an area at any time. Change ingredients. Uh, a lot of uh, mushroom. Yes. Press the draw to vision area to view area in detail. That's good. Right. Seems Let's like see. you've gotten the hang of the cultivation side of things. Ah, hmm? uh, I should probably mention a knight from the logistics of company has arrived. She'll be the one handling the provision of all future supplies. You should go have a chat with her in a little bit. And yeah. after that, it'll be your time to shine. Wait, what about you? Yeah, shouldn't it be our time to shine? You know, the three of us? What about your role in all this? My role? <laughs> Naturally, it was to ensure my cuties had all the business and alchemy knowledge they needed to succeed. Okay, I'll be rooting for you. Good luck. Ah, I knew this would happen. <laughs> Their faces so precious. All right, let's talk to Freda here. Go that way. All right, Freda, talk to me. Greetings, honorary knight. Greetings, Paimon. My name is Freda. I'm a knight from the logistics company. It's such an honor to meet the famous traveler and his loyal attendant. <laughs> oh, the pleasure is mine. My apologies. I guess I got a bit carried away after hearing all about your exploits. It's just like something out of a novel. You're practically legends at this point. I'm, I'm a bit jealous, actually. I'd love to wander the land in search of adventure like one of those knights you read about in stories. Seems like a really fun life. Maybe you'll get the chance one day. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping, at least. <laughs> so tell me, Freda, back home to the top edge. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we've got some prep work to wrap up, right? Yep. My orders from the acting grandmaster are to support your business in any way that I can. If there's anything you need, just let me know. Right. Let's uh, purchase, purchase supplies, your right? Luck. I just got a new batch of provisions. Please, take a look and see if anything catches your eye. Alright. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> I'm on. Yeah, wasn't... Uh, wasn't there 
a point when um <laughs> when they said um uh Paimon could actually def defeat an abyss mage because of his resistance. All right. Operations handbook. Use your operations handbook to actively end the current operation cycle. Resting on Lisa's chair can also achieve the same result. You can view the completion status of various tasks in the current cycle. Click the icons to track your objectives. Uh, increases the efficiency provided by all ingredients when conducting potions. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, Who knew the, the new cultivation area to good use. When certain conditions have been met, you can spend funds to improve your final, final potion products. Enhanced uh, potions can be sold for a higher price. Potions efficiency or special characteristics cannot change. No potions to enhance, obviously. So, uh, concoction, conventional concoction. Yeah, I know. I want to do this. Uh, when placing ingredients, you can cause the potion to gain efficiency values of five different types. Yeah, I know. Gain transfusion and so on. When you finish concocting a potion, the efficiency value that is highest will determine the potion's type and grade. There are four different potion grades. Potion grades. Beginner, mediate, advanced, and special. This is the primary de 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 determinant of the sale price. The efficiency value that was not sufficient to reach the next potion grade will be converted to a potion level of 0 or plus 10, increasing the sale price of the potion using the tuning rate to over 100% using a beautiful bottle or receiving a larger bonus. Bonus can all increase a potion level. Alright, this. Rotate. Right. Then this part here. This rotate here. Um. About the fight. This is going towards strength. Clarity, wisdom, charisma, balance. Place this and let's see what happens. This is the efficiency provided by all ingredients when concocting potion. Without the potion. No. Alrighty. Now, put this that way. Uh, potions you have concocted must be stocked before they can be sold. Potions will, with exactly identical efficiency cannot be stocked for sale at the same time. Market News is a guide to selling potions. All the efficiencies and characteristics of your potions can fulfill market demands. The greater your sales volume will be, 
thus rate re your revenue. During each operation cycle, Paimon will help recruit potion efficacies and charges that are in the month. Discover a potion with uh, efficacies and characteristics that are even more suited to the current market, Paimon will update the record. With when each operation cycle ends, your potion sales will be totaled up with the financial with the financial uh, assessment based on sales volume. Check your financial report to see if your potions are in tune with the market. Ah, constitution strength seven. Great night of freedom. I want to go. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> Have a question for me, cutie? Yeah, about green potions. All you need to do is add the ingredients into the cauldron, follow the steps provided, and you're good to go. Using different herbs in the brewing process will, in turn, alter the effects of the potion. There's a whole bunch of combinations to try. Yeah. Have a question for me, cutie? And about uh, cultivating herbs. Bioalchemical processing can infuse herbs with different effects and properties. The type of potion you want to brew will determine what kinds of herbs you need to cultivate. Have a question for me, cutie? Um, about the market? You'll need to consult the news of the market to determine what kinds of potions to brew. I already took the liberty of compiling the latest details on the market for you. You can find the information I collected right by those shelves over there. Have a question for me, cutie? Yeah. I have no more questions. Well, Thank if you. there's anything else you want to ask, don't hesitate to come and find me. Yeah, I will. Alright, um, end operation cycle. Revenue for this cycle. Huh? Little potion costs. Let's keep it up and we can make this a runaway success. Two ingredients ready to be harvested. Alright, say no more. Harvest all. Yeah. 